Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren Reeves. I'm with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia, and I'll be doing your weekly weather briefing for the week of Thursday, December 10th, 2020. All right, so this week we'll be talking about our temperatures showing a downward trend and the more active pattern that we'll be moving into. We'll see a cold front passage this weekend, which will bring chances for showers and thunderstorms. And then after that, we have two additional systems that are expected to move through within the next seven days that will bring chances for showers and thunderstorms and the potential for some wintry precipitation, generally just to far north Georgia. So we'll be looking at early week and then midweek. All right, so taking a look at our current conditions as of this recording, on the left-hand side here, we have a satellite loop from about 10 a.m. till noon. Now, as you can see, nice clear skies across the area. As far as current temperature goes, generally in the 50s across northern Georgia, getting into the 60s across central Georgia and further south. So let's take a look at the forecast for the rest of today. Our high temperatures today will generally be in the 60s across northern Georgia, getting into the 70s across central Georgia with no chances for rain. So now we'll jump into our fire weather forecast. Overall, for the next three days, we don't have any fire weather concerns. Our minimum relative humidity values today should bottom out in the 30 to 40% range with gusts remaining less than 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, our minimum relative humidity values will be a little bit higher, generally in the 30 to 40 to 50% range with wind gusts still around 10 to 12 miles per hour or less. So now let's jump into our next chances for rain. Our first chance will be Saturday into early Sunday as we have a cold front move through the area. The left hand graphic here shows a still image for Saturday morning looking at that front. The green is showing the precipitation out ahead of the front and then those two black arrows signaling that the precipitation will move closer to our area generally during the day on Saturday and into Saturday afternoon and evening and then into early Sunday morning as that front crosses the area. On the right hand side we've got our precipitation totals for Saturday into Sunday morning. Overall really not that much, generally around half an inch or less for the area. The highest totals across northern Georgia. So now to break down our chances for precipitation a little bit better. The left hand graphic here shows during the day on Saturday as that front starts to approach the area. Moisture will generally increase across portions of northwestern Georgia first. And then as we head into Saturday evening into overnight, that middle graphic there, chances for rain will overspread much of the area before the front continues to push south and east late Saturday into Sunday morning across the rest of the area there we have for the right hand graphic around 30% or less chances for showers and thunderstorms, especially as the moisture kind of dwindles as this front moves through the area. Now with this system, we're expecting to come through Saturday and early Sunday. Here's the current severe storm outlook. Overall, we're just expected to have general thunder. So with those showers, we could see some thunderstorms as well. So now let's look at the next system expected to impact the area. So now we're looking at late Sunday into Monday. The left-hand graphic here shows another low pressure system that's expected to cross our forecast area from west to east. So that left-hand graphic there is looking at overnight Sunday into early morning Monday. So as that system moves west to east across our area, we'll start to get increasing chances for rain, and it should move east of the area on Monday morning. Overall, the graphic on the right shows our rainfall totals for Sunday night into Monday. And again, totals really aren't that high, generally about half an inch or less, even a quarter inch or less across the area. So now if we look at our chances for rain during this time period for that next system, the rain chances look to increase overnight Sunday, as I mentioned that low looks to cross the area overnight. And then our chances for rain start to decrease as we get into Monday, although they shift further east as that system exits the area. So with the passage of this low pressure system, this left hand graphic here shows our temperatures on Monday morning as that system's exiting. And as you can see, we do have temperatures across far north Georgia in the mid 30s and temperatures across northern Georgia generally in the 30s or so. That being said, we are monitoring the potential for some wintry precip across far north Georgia, especially the higher elevations, Sunday night into Monday morning as our temperatures do decrease across those areas. 
But also, that being said, there is a lot of uncertainty since we're five days out into the forecast. So what we have in the forecast now is definitely subject to change. And being this far out, we don't have any amounts or accumulations or anything like that. But that'll be something that we're just keeping our eye on for now. So make sure to stay tuned for the forecast for any updates as our uncertainty decreases and we get a little bit closer to this system. So now at the end of our forecast period, we do have another system looking to impact the area midweek. As you can see on the left hand side graphic there, there's a big low pressure system up over the Great Lakes that has an extending cold front that will be pushing towards our area on Wednesday. Right now we just have about 30% chances for rain, but we're continuing to monitor this system as well as we'll have some cooler temperatures in place, generally just across far north Georgia and the higher elevations. So stay tuned to the forecast for any updates for this system as well. So taking a look at a forecast for temperatures out for the next week, we're going to look at Blairsville up north and then looking at Atlanta and then Macon and central Georgia. As I mentioned in the beginning of the briefing, we do have a decreasing trend in temperatures, and so we'll take a look at that now. So for Blairsville, temperatures starting out with highs in the 50s and 60s over the next few days with lows in the 40s. But once we get to Monday and beyond, we'll start to see those high temperatures generally in the 30s, upper 30s, and 40s with those low temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Taking a look at Atlanta, a similar trend here, high temperatures in the 50s and 60s through the weekend with lows in the 40s and 50s. And then as we get to Monday and beyond, our high temperatures will generally be in the 40s and lower 50s with our low temperatures in the 30s. Looking further south at Macon, high temperatures through the weekend looking at about in the 60s with low temperatures in the 40s and 50s. And then once we get into Monday, those high temperatures will start to drop down generally into the 50s with looking at Tuesday in the 40s. Otherwise, low temperatures hitting the 30s some days, but otherwise into the lower 40s. So in summary, we talked about the decreasing temperature trend over the next week and took a look at the more active weather pattern that we're heading into. We do have a cold front passage expected this weekend and bringing chances for showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise, out in the extended forecast, we've got two additional systems that we're continuing to monitor that could bring chances for showers and thunderstorms to the area as well as potential for wintry precip to far north Georgia. And again, we're looking at early week and then midweek. But overall, being so far out in the forecast for both of these last two systems, make sure you're staying tuned to the forecast for any updates. All right, so thank you all for joining us this week. We'll be back next week. As always, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, feel free to just reach out to us here in the office. Otherwise, you all have a great week. Thanks.